Hey, today we will learn about Infinity Free website. Basically, Infinity Free offers free web hosting with impressive marketing of unlimited disk space, bandwidth, and domain hosting. This, in theory, means you can host as many files as you want on your account server, have as many users visit your site as you want, and have as many primary web addresses as you want. If you are in the market for a free web hosting service, there are things you will want to take into consideration. A professional website is an excellent online presence for a small business owner, an entrepreneur, or a solopreneur. It is free web ho website hosting for over 10 years, completely free. Infinity Free is completely free, no credit card required, and no hidden fees. No ads on your site. Open Google Chrome, type infinityfree.net and open it. After that, the home page will be open. It is free web hosting with completely free website hosting with PHP, MySQL, and no ads on your site. Now click on sign up option dot niw, sign up for free account. Enter the email address, password. After that, confirm the password. Check the Agree Term Service and other options. Now click on Create New Account. Now verify your email address. The verification link will be sent to Gmail account, which link you will enter in account information. Let's confirm the email by verification link. Now open the Gmail account. Click on Inbox and here you can receive email from site. Click on it and verify the email. Now click on it and select free option, then the hosting account will be open in front of us. Here there will be many options. We can create a new account on right side click in create account option. A page will open where we can choose the domain name by selecting domain type. We can choose subdomain or custom domain. Select one of them and enter the subdomain name, whatever you want. After that, set the domain extension. Click on Check Availability option. The second option will include required additional information. You can enter the account label and account username. Username will create automatically as well now enter the account password and check the box. Let's click on Create Account. Now the third step is Account Created option, where our accident will be created. Now click on Open Control Panel option. Here we have some text which is important note for us. Here notify you to change to service, account status change, offers and other important services, email. We need permission to send your email. Let's click on I approve option below to us. Let's click on I approve option below to us. It takes some time for loading. After loading, the main page of Infinity page will be open. On this page, there will be many options like searching for a new domain name. Here we can search any domain name. Add info or check now also. Below that, there will be preference where we have updated contact email, getting started, account upgrade and account settings. In files option, we have one file manager directory privacy, FTP account, free FTP software, and backups. In database option, there will be puppy aim, MySQL database, remote MySQL, and posture SQL database. The domain option will have many more options like add-on domains, subdomain, parked domain, and redirect. Now scroll down and visit all, many options like matrices, security, software etc now click on open file manager option after that the screen will be open here there will be different file with name size change and permissions etc click on any file after that the next screen will be open with more options there will be many entries when we click on it show at list where we can see the different option like edit, download, copy name, create zip copy, cut, copy, paste, and rename, etc. 
Now go back and scroll down and find database option in which we have MySQL database. Option will be saved. Click on this option. After that, the screen will be appearing in front of us. This database allow you to store many information in easy access manner. Let's create a new database. We can create a database according to our need. Also same, we can delete the database. Scroll down and there will be option of current database in which we have MySQL password, username and DB name. Click on admin option. After that, the page will open where we have many options on the top like structure, SQL, search, query, export, import, operation, routine, and designer. Now click on structure option where we have to create table in which simple enter the name. And choose the number of columns and click on go option. Now here the screen will open with too much interesting style. Now there will be a five columns with different entries. Let's fill the name column by putting different five names in each box. After that, enter the type of each column. Also set the value same set and manage all other options. And on top, select the add and click on go option. Now go back and choose second option where you can choose upgrade, premium plane, according to your need. Now scroll down and choose your hosting plan and or choose your payment terms. Also you can choose your free domain name, enter it and submit it. Now click on first option, scroll down and find software option. After funding click on Softaculous app installer. As soon as when I click on it, the top scripts will be open like WordPress, Joomla and Abanti card etc. Let's install, install the first script. As soon as when I click on it, install button, the page will open where we have software setup in which we have to select software setup, directory, choose domain and choose protocol. Below this, there will be admin account option in which we will enter the admin username, admin password, admin email. Also, we select plugins, languages, select theme and install it after some time the software will be installed successfully when i click on this link the page will open now go back and click on administration after that the welcome page will open we have we have dashboard on left side there will be many options like media post user tools etc click on pages option and select all pages after that, the page will open where we can add new page as well. Enter the page title. After that, enter the description according to your detail or topic. Scroll down and click on feature image option. After that, the page will open where we can upload or drag any image. After some time, the image will be uploaded. After finish, all settings click on publish option. After a few seconds, the page will be published so we can update our page too. After that, the page will open here. We are able to see our title name, our selected image and paragraph as well. Now go back and click on appearance option where we can select any theme according to our need. Click on add new theme and install my theme, whatever you select after installation, we can activate your template. When the theme are active, we can manage or customize the theme. When the page will open on the left side, there will be many options. In site identity, we can set our title name, etc. In menus, we can set our new menu. We can also customize the home page setting. Also, we can edit or change the headers, footers, and additional cuts. No high back to home page. So this is our tutorial about Infinity Free website, where we can learn about many more things. I hope you can understand all the things from this website. If you have any questions or face any problems in this topic, then ask your question in comment section and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Have a good day. Stay safe. Bye-bye.